Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. You probably just came from the Rosis 1992 review. Anyway, this is a battle between the Rosis 1992 inline skate against the Impala Lightspeed inline skate. Is it worth the 199 euros from the Rosis 1992? Is the Impala really a bad skate? Let's talk about that. Stay there and enjoy this video. So I just made a review about this skate. I skated it first as a as a regular recreational skate. I tried to do a bit of what it's called urban skating. Tried to go through some different type of obstacles and up and down stairs and a couple of things and I took them to the skate park which these skates are not made for the skate park and I really really like them now about a year ago I made a review about this skate and if you haven't checked this review make sure to go on the link right here and check my initial review of the Impala when I first made the review I used another model which was the the first edition that had some fluor yellow wheels and it had some fluor yellow liner and I thought not a lot has changed but this skate was sent to me by Impala and on that first review I said that the wheels weren't that good so they sent me this skate and they said we changed the wheels we want you to test it so this is supposed to be the second edition now this skate was also sent to me by Rosis so no one is paying me to make this video but none of these brand is in advantage by giving me the skate for free because they both gave me the skates and I also sell both these skates you can check the link in the description something that I realized was that my first skate was a size my first Impala was a size 43 and when we start selling the skates on the shop I tried a couple of different sizes and guess what this is a size 42 and it fits me just well now this, I actually thought it was a size 43, but it's a size 44. And now check this out, because this is quite interesting. The size 44 of the Rosis 1992, it's a tiny bit smaller than the size 42 of the Impala skate, which I need to admit that I'm quite happy about. To start with, most of the skaters always want to size down, at least I would say the intermediate to advanced skaters. The beginners usually they don't really know, but somehow there's something in air that most of the times the advanced skaters want to have the smallest skate they can fit. Makes us feel better, I don't know why. But the truth is, the reason why it gets me so happy is that Impala makes some of the skates only up to size 42, meaning that I can get this skate in a couple of different crazy colors. Now, Roses, they make the 1992 in every size, in every color. They have three different colors, while Impala, well, they go crazy. They got these, they got a white one, they got, they got these, and I'll talk about this in a second. They got a blue, now they got a pink, they got skates with print. Impala has way too many, but some of them only come up to size 42. So, I can fit on 42, which is cool, right? About the wheels, I'm gonna be fully honest, I don't think the wheels are very, very different from the first ones. If you just watch my first review, or you can watch the review after this video, you will see that the wheels didn't last too long. But the wheels on the Roses, they are a lot bigger. These comes with 70 millimeter wheels. And I would expect Impala to come with 72 at least when they made the second edition. They didn't. They still come with 70 millimeters. They said the quality is a bit better. I honestly didn't felt a huge difference. But the truth, as I was about to say, is even if the Rose's wheels are bigger, they look very clean because they like see-through wheels, but they didn't last a lot longer. I skated them yesterday for a couple of hours and I got a huge flat spot on these wheels. They are already kind of shaped in a way but this is obviously happening because of the way that I was trying to skate them I was doing power slides and in the beginning of my previous video the review of the roses I actually had to do the same power slide a couple of times it was a hard surface so I'm not saying that these or that wheel would be a lot better now the main advantage here I wouldn't say it's the material of the wheel but the size of the wheel okay 76 millimeters versus 70 and 
We're talking about a skate that can fit 80 millimeter wheels. I just tested it. If you rocker the frame the way that you can, because the front wheels go forward and the back wheels can go backwards a bit more. So the rockering is not up and down, but like front and back and the middle wheels go up and down. If you rocker them far from the boot, meaning the front boot forward, the back wheel backward and the middle two down, you can put 80 millimeter wheels on the Impala, which is very, very, very good because it's the most common wheel on the market. Most of the times when you look for wheels for inline skates, 80 millimeters is what you're gonna find show you these are some 80 millimeters i was just testing them right now they fit perfectly here now the disadvantage is going to be a tiny bit rockered it's not too much but you're going to feel the skate is going to be really really maneuverable let's say that way now these ones they come with 76s but 76s all the way down so the wheels are push down. When I try 80s, they don't fit. And if I bring the, the frame up, then yeah, uh, I don't even know if the 76 will fit or probably only 76s, but 80s don't fit at all. Another advantage or disadvantage compared to what you want to do with your skates is the Impala has a completely different profile wheel. The wheel is a lot more round, a lot more fat. Uh, the Rossi's wheel, it's more of a fitness or a speed wheel. It's like way pointier like there's a, a smaller surface touching on the ground making it very easy to turn but at the same time because there's less surface touching on the ground it's not going to last as long there's a smaller footprint than on these but there's also a lot more urethane so if you're looking for a skate that rolls better i would say straight out of the box this one can roll better but you can put the exact same wheel 76 flat on these or you can rocker them at 80 millimeters so that's both quite cool uh, in my opinion i wouldn't say that one frame is lower than the other it's very 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 similar i don't know if you can see anything from there but they're very 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 similar it looks like there's a little bit more technology into this frame of the roses than into that but at the end of the day they are both riveted to the boot meaning that they don't allow you to change the frame and i didn't felt like one was flexier than the other or anything like that they both made the work well and this one allows me to put bigger wheels which is a pro in my opinion boot wise well the impala in a size 42 it's longer than a size 44 of the 1992 and it's also wider so if you have a slim foot this will probably fit you very very good not a lot of movement inside while this one this one is way bigger the quality of the boot which is something that a lot of people always say oh but the impala is a bad brand it's not this boot it's the exact same that it's used on one of the most iconic aggressive inline skates, which is the Razor's Cult. The Razor's Cult use the same mold and it's a very, very reliable boot. Now, this is <laughs> an even more iconic aggressive skate called the Rosis M12, even the one that you can see right over my finger. That's a Rosis Impala from mid 90s. This boot has been done since late 70s, early 90s. It's a super iconic boot, but I wouldn't say that one shell or one of these plastic boots is better than the other. They're both very good. They just fit differently. Liners. I really like the Impala liners. Huh? I really, really like the Impala liners as I like these ones. None of these have a lacing all the way to the top. There's one thing that I like about the Impala liners more than the Roses, and that is this little strap. It's a very basic thing, but this little strap here allows me to put my finger in, while on the Roses I can't. But probably if we're gonna be talking about the finishing, the finishing and the detail on the Roses is probably a bit better, but none of these feel less comfortable than the other. Now, the main advantage between the Roses 1992 and the Impala is the buckle. So the buckle of the Impalas, it's not a bad buckle, but it's like it's a plastic buckle, which is a very common buckle. Basically, you have a receptor here, which is exposed, and then, here you just locked it in and it works very good but this this is 
This is the best. This is the best buckle that you'll have on the market from any inland skate, in my opinion. It's a memory buckle, so the receptor is somehow hidden inside the boot. So you just need to adjust it once, and once it's adjusted, the other side, every time you skate, you just do this. Put it in, boom. And you don't need to adjust it every time. It's already adjusted to your foot, so it just makes it super, super easy. It's, even if you fall, it's very protected. This is the best. This buckle is amazing, especially compared to this. Not that this one is bad, huh? Both these skates come with the cuffs, riveted the cuff is this part here and it's riveted to the boot so they don't allow you to to change it straight out of the box but of course you can just if you want to just cut it in from the inside there's ways to 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 put a different one you can put a screw here like a cuff bolt there's a possibility so if you want to change something if you want to put a lower one or something there's a lot of cuff options on the market that will fit here because it's the same as the razor sculpt as i just told you so you can put like a, a smaller one you can put like a softer one a harder one there's a lot of options of cuffs for these now roses they won't give you a lot of options with height but they will give you a lot of color options but i don't think they're sold separately they are not made to change that that's why they are riveted uh lacing very similar the laces that come on the skates nothing very special about this they both come i don't even know the abex the the abex rating of the bearings but none of these feel like it's going to be faster because of the bearings the impala are very look friendly if you can say it like even the the, um, the bearings that come on this skate need to be pink as an example then you will see that the bolts like these axles they have the color of the wheel so every little detail on the impala skates is thought so let me show you something else when i show you this skate which is the pastel fade if you see the brake Sorry, if you're one of the persons that buy these, I'm going to rip it now. Sorry, I'm going to try to put it back with love. Yeah, see, you got the Impala tool with the skates. And if you if you want to put the, the brake, check this out. It has a pink brake. Now, on the roses, it's a lot more raw. You see that the axles are just like the silver ones, which is all good. It's, it's a choice. And then it comes with a, a black brake. I don't see these as a as a big thing but for some people that buy these skates that are really trying to get something very girly it's more about the look that might make a difference now something that is very different on both these skates is the price this one goes for 129 euros and this one this one goes for 199 made in italy made in china this plastic is it's an environmental friendly boot basically there's a percentage of cornstarch used to to make the plastic of this boot while this one not that i know i think it's just a regular plastic these would leave a smaller footprint on the planet which seems to be like a huge thing right now we know like we see the the water levels going up raining in weird times all these hurricanes we can we can help on that by trying to make a smaller footprint on the market so if we buy skate if we buy something that doesn't leave that much of a footprint might make a difference but yeah you need to pay for that 199 129 that is basically it man if there's some things that i would change on both skates totally on these skates i would make them come at least with 76 millimeters they fit 76s why not i would like to see these skates coming with 76s other than that not really a lot that i would change on these ones i would also go with the wheels the wheels i would try to make them a bit of a different profile wheel if there's a possibility for that maybe something a little bit thicker and something very small having a, a bigger skate holder here so that i could put like my skate hook or something like that just a skate carrier other than that they're both amazing skates i wouldn't complain against either of these and i wouldn't say one is way better than others just have in mind please as the final thing have in mind that the sizing is completely different if you have a wider foot for sure this is going to be better for you than these i just tell you again that this is a size 44 
this is a size 42. They are both in my size, they both fit great. But when I look here, I will see that the Rose is in a size 44, it's shorter and narrower than the 42 of the Impala. And that is basically it. I hope I, I gave you enough information about these skates. If you are still thinking you don't know which one you want, make sure to check the reviews that I made about both these skates. I really enjoyed both, but there's different things about both that I just said. It's, it's up to you. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel. If there's a little subscribe thing, if it's red, when you press on it, it's not red anymore now, see? But now there's a bell. If you press on that bell, you will get notifications every time I upload one of these videos. And then there's also a join button. If you press on that join button, you'll get access to exclusive content. So as you will have access to a little discount code on my shop, which the link is in the description. Now, with that being said, if you like it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Let me know in the comments what you didn't like about this video. If you like it, you can also leave me a comment. And other than that, just like I finish every other video, I would just like to always remember why we all started skating. And that, that is because it's fun. Cheers and see you soon. This is not gonna work. I'm gonna try front flip with this, front flip with that. Let's see, three, two, one. Amazing, they're amazing. You gotta live longer, so team.